Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Attila Tero. In this video we're gonna take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of April in the areas of money, career and finance. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. So let's jump into it with your Rose Oracle card. Uh, for you the card that came out is the Trust, the Seasons, Embracing Change, Cycles of Life, Transition, and growth so you're definitely going through some kind of a change in your career some something is changing something is is not the same this is kind of like pretty much uh, that you are in a transition uh, mode uh, so for example what you need to kind of uh, uh, do is embrace this change uh, because uh, all, all this uh, is really uh, bringing you is you cannot just keep focusing on growth 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 uh, because uh, uh, in, in order to grow you need to go through cycles right when you kind of look at the rose it uh, in the winter it goes into hibernation and then goes into full bloom so you need to kind of focus as well in your life that that uh, if uh, is, is there a phase where you need to kind of take a little bit to step back take a little bit of a rest in order to be able to get to the full bloom uh, whatever you need to do uh, whatever you're trying to achieve uh, and, and 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 you know try not to withstand whatever change you're going through uh, because because you know if whenever you kind of trying to resist some kind of a change uh, the harder it gets so whatever change you're going through try to embrace it try to uh, just think about it that you know yes there are certain uh, changes where you are in flu full bloom there are certain times of, uh, of of our life when we need to step back when we need to rest when we need to gather our thoughts and and uh, and, and eventually that's going to help us to grow even more but let's see what the tarot is telling us in the center of your reading you do have the hangman the hangman which is all about being stuck feeling stuck in a rut uh, maybe it's, it's some something in in your career it's not uh, changing it's not moving forward as you would like to see it this can be a project that's kind of not evolving this can be a position uh, this can be like you know maybe you've been unemployed and and you're not seeing changes uh, or or your business is not going as, as you would like to kind of see it um, like this person is kind of going on the tr uh, tree of life uh, because he wants to see things from a different perspective in order to gain the enlightenment that he needs in order to get out of this situation so you need to kind of think about what is that you should look from a different angle from a different point of view in order to get out of a situation you also need to think about is there anything you need to sacrifice is there anything you need to give up in order to get to the next level of your career or your business like for example for me in this card it's very interesting always to see those coins falling so is there anything that you need to give up financially in order to uh, get to the next level of your career uh, because you know maybe we kind of uh, um, if you just keep uh, focusing on grow 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 you might burn yourself and, and, and even it kind of talks to these cycles of life that you know sometimes you step back in order to grow more so think about how this resonate uh, with, with you uh, but let's see the first card. The first card you have here is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is all about confusions, options. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of options on this card and they are kind of have something else in it. And we just don't know what those options are. Some of you might be have a lot of options. Maybe you have many career options ahead of you that you need to choose from. Uh, maybe uh, there are... A lot of uh, job offers or just a lot of ways th that you can evolve your career it's very interesting that you have the rose on that too <laughs> on, in the center so so anyway um, whenever this card comes up uh, you're kind of confused you're kind of dreaming too much you are not necessarily uh, down uh, on the earth uh, and, uh, and, and, and and you need to kind of think about what is that you need to give up? What is that you, you need to sacrifice in order to be able to choose uh, from these options? Uh, because what's interesting with the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups is very much connected to uh, 
manifestation some of you are trying to manifest something but the challenge with the seven of cups is it, it's it's confusing whatever you're trying to do so let me give you an example one day you want to be uh, uh, promoted the next day you're saying oh no I'm fine wherever I am next day you want to be well, you want to have your own business and then the other day, oh no I don't want to deal with that so there's some kind of a confusing energy here that you need to clear you need to think about what is that you really want what is that you really need what is that you need to sacrifice what is that you need to give up in order to be able to move forward from uh, this energy of, uh, of feeling stuck because you have the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is the energy of financial stability, something that you worked very hard for, and, and it's kind of an indication that you're very good from a financial perspective. You accumulated some wealth, maybe you, know, you have some uh, house uh, purchase that you are trying to, uh, you are considering, uh, but this, is, this energy is, is great if you are having your own business because it's an indication that your business is stable and financially sound. Uh, but great energy also from a point of view if you're being employed because it's a, it's an indication that you're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Whatever you were taught for, it it is acknowledged. You're getting the promotion, the raise, uh, whatever you've been uh, striving for. And you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight, Eight of Pentacles is before the Nine of Pentacles and it shows you this uh, process of hard work. Right, you can see that he's up all night, uh, all day, working on making sure that these pentacles look all the same. So definitely indication that you're working hard on something, you're putting a lot of effort into something, and uh, there's some kind of a repetitive feel of this uh, card as well. When there's some something you do over and over, maybe you're kind of going through a repetitive cycle of a lot of work, hard work, uh, and, and, and you need to kind of think about it. How, how long you're able to do it. Because, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, you practically achieved a lot, right? You have lots of wealth uh, with this energy. Um, and you also have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is this golden opportunity, this golden opportunity that brings you uh, long-term stability, long-term abundance. But this is kind of like a seed, a seed that you need to grow from the start. So uh, maybe there's some kind of an opportunity here that you need to consider. Uh, maybe it's going to give you less money. Maybe it's 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 it's, it's uh, not the same what you already achieved. But this opportunity has a great potential to become uh, something amazing, something that I think might be even... Um, give you a bigger and, and better bloom and better bigger growth than what you had before because I kind of have a sense here that you already achieved something you kind of don't want to give it up but there might be some kind of a new opportunity that maybe it's a less money maybe it's a lower position maybe you're starting your own business and then it's not it's it's not going to be the same as what you've been kind of achieving so far but I think on the long run uh, with all this energy you're going to be actually able to make it uh, bigger than what you have right now. It's just uh, the question is are you willing to take that step back and Look at it. You have the two of ones the two of ones is uh, an indication that you are at a fork of a road Meaning that you need to make a decision. You need to kind of decide about how do you want to move forward in your career the, the uh, Two of ones is all about that. Uh, you know this person on the card achieved a lot uh, like has his own castle on the original card and and um, and you know he's very proudly uh, looking out of this castle but but you know deep down he knows that there's way more for him to discover the whole world is ahead of him but whatever he achieved it's kind of holding him back uh, and 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 he's kind of in shambles okay what what should I do some of you are kind of planning your next steps some of you are planning what 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 should be um, your next uh, phase of your career but there's definitely a decision where you need to choose between two things some of you need to choose between two job opportunities some of you need to choose between whether you you want to stay with your own company or go for a new one some of you need to choose between two positions and some of you need to kind of choose whether you want to go on your own or you want to stay where you are uh, but I think you're going to be able to see what is the best uh, decision for you because, you know, you kind of have this uh, very interesting an analogy of the clarity here that's kind of in the back. And you're going to be able to see how the sun is kind of uh, 
showing you, um, you're going to be able to see signs that's going to tell you what is the right path for you. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most. And for you, it is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating uh, with your career. So in the future, you have the three of wands. Three of wands is following the two of uh, wands, which is uh, an indication that you made all your plans. You uh, are uh, kind of uh, going in this new path, your this new adventure, and you're actually able to see the first signs of success. This is the first sign of success card. You're kind of um, uh, uh, turning your back to something and you're kind of looking into the future. For some of you, it might be that, um, let's say you decided that you want to leave your old company and you want to apply for a new job. You're kind of going through this repetitive cycle and you're going to be able to see the success of uh, being called for first or second round of interview. Uh, some of you, if you're working on a project, maybe you've been hesitant to go on this project and you're going to be able to say, that, okay, you know what, this project is actually going to work or this position. Or some of you are starting your own business and you're going to be able to see that yes, you're getting your first orders, your clients, and, and, and it's going to work for you. Uh, there's definitely a sign of success. Uh, so some of you, if you are in a, uh, you're already in uh, having your own business, you might be considering to take this business on a global scale. But this can be also a sign of uh, travel overseas. And you also have here the King of Cups. King of P Cups is all about uh, balancing things, balancing your feelings, bal balancing your thoughts, and being very diplomatic as well. And and uh, this king is somebody who is uh, very stable, even in the uh, stormiest situation among the biggest waves, he sits very uh, stable on his thr throne. So this can be just indicating that you know you are uh, this person who's able to handle any kind of situation. Very interesting that both the three of wands has this splash of water of indicating the storminess and the king of cups as well has this storminess. So maybe uh, some of you will kind of go through some uh, challenges on, the, on this new path. But you're going to be able to uh, handle it. This can be somebody as well who's kind of like a negotiator, somebody a di who's a diplomat or a healer or a helper of some sort or an artist as well. So because, you know, it's, it's a very creative energy. So maybe some of you are thinking about going kind of like a new path of maybe creativity, healing, helping, negotiating, etc., um, etc. Et there can be many, many ways with it. And you also have here the magician. Magician is somebody who has all the great skills he needs in order to manifest whatever he wants. This is the card of manifestation and you kind of have two cards talking about manifestation. Both the magician and the seven of cups and it seems that this manifestation is kind of stuck but you're going to be able to um, unlock it because uh, the magician is 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 a, a master um, manifester. You also have unlimited potential ahead of you. So uh, I think you're going to be able to achieve everything you want. You just need to consider uh, how much you're willing to kind of sacrifice or how much you are willing to step back. But at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is somebody who is radiant. She can get whatever she wants. She can get uh, the job, the business opportunity, the promotion, the money that she wants. She is very positive. She's she's the master of law of attraction, and 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 you know she doesn't even care what others are thinking. So maybe some of you are kind of afraid of whatever. Others might think if you're going in down this new path, uh, but I think you're going to be able to surprise them with your ability uh, when you have the Queen of Wands energy uh, that, that how much you're able to accomplish. Uh, so that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and claim the positive energies of uh, the Magician and, 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 and the Ace of uh, uh, Pentacles and the 
three of ones to bring you the success to bring you uh, the 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 great achievements that you you want and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope i see you again